Welcome to Getting Started with Oracle Hyperion Financial Reporting Studio. In this short video, I will show you how to install the Financial Reporting Studio software, how to set up a database connection, and how to create a simple report. The first step is to download and install the client software. First, log into Workspace. Click on Tools, Install, Financial Reporting Studio. Click on View Downloads. The file has downloaded. Now I need to save it to my computer. This is probably going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Once the file is downloaded and saved, look for it in your Downloads directory in your User folder. Right-click on the file and select Run as Administrator. Go ahead to various menus to install the software. Next, let's set up a database connection and then we can connect to it and write a report. Back in Workspace, click on the Explore menu and go to Tools. Database Connection Manager. Let's go ahead and set up a new database connection. Let's go ahead and complete the few items that are required in this form to complete the database connection setup. Go ahead and scroll to the application and the plan type. And we'll select that. And click OK. And that's about it for this form. Now that we've set up a new database connection to the application called SEB Plan, Plan Type 1, uh, we can go ahead and connect to that with Financial Reporting Studio and write a financial reporting document. Step 3. Write a report. Now let's open up the Reporting Studio software, connect to the database, and write a simple report. I'm going to go to the Start menu and open up Financial Reporting Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and log in with my username and password. And the URL is going to be http colon slash slash and then the server name and the port is 19,000. And there is a colon between the uh, server name and the port, by the way. So this is what Financial Reporting Studio looks like with no files open or anything like that. If you click on this middle icon, that will take you to the directory that shows you where all the folders are that stores the financial reporting documents. Let's go ahead and click on this new report icon and create a new report. I'm going to go ahead and select this icon now that adds a new grid and it just gives you the crosshairs and you can pretty much put it where you want on the page and let's use our new database connection which is SEB plan type 1 application and plan type and then I'm going to go ahead and log in and that should connect and it opens up this uh, dimension layout box. Okay, and this is what we want to do. All the dimensions in the application in the database are uh, listed up here in point of view 
that's where it drops them to start with and what we need to do now is move them where we want them. I'm going to make this report a simple income statement. I'll drag the account dimension down to the rows and then in the columns I'll have the year period scenario version and let's put the entity on the page and okay now the next thing I'm going to want to do is make selections for each of these select what accounts I want to show on the report the year, the period, the scenario, the version this column, for this column we might want to have 2014 actuals and then maybe next to it will show the plan and maybe the plan for 2015 and then maybe a variance column that shows a variance between 2015 plan and 2014 actuals and then we'll make all these accounts down the side income statement accounts and for the entity we could select any entity that we want let's go ahead and make it uh, total company all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set those up so let me show you how to select the values for the dimensions here like what I did is I double clicked on the year dimension and it opened up this box that shows all the members I can drill down into FY14 and I want to bring FY14 over there and click OK and now I've got FY14 for period I'm going to double click on that and what I really want here is year total to show the total year and I'm going to bring period back over and click OK scenario we're going to go with actuals for 2014 and replace a scenario with actual and then if you know what you want you can actually type it in if you know exactly what it is like for a version I'm going to go ahead and type in final and hit enter and that took that once I clicked away from it and now I'm going to go ahead and set up the accounts in the same fashion and come back in just a second. So I've now made my account selections for the income statement. As you can see, some of the rows I've got more than one account, revenue and cost of revenue, and then gross profit down below uh, in its own row. The reason I did that is so I can highlight gross profit in a bold font. You know, so I've got uh, the income statement set up here very basic. I'm going to go ahead and print preview it, see how it looks. There it is. Yeah, it looks okay for a very basic report. I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time formatting it. I'm going to go ahead and copy this column here and paste it and we'll go ahead and make this FY15 and we'll make it the, uh, let's go ahead and make it the plan. So we've got FY14, FY15, and the plan. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a variance column. Insert column, formula, and we'll make this syntax will be in brackets, column B minus column A. And then let's go ahead and add some bold formatting here and an operating income and net income. And then why not the headers too? And we'll make our variance column, uh, let's go ahead and make that yellow. I'm going to go ahead and right click format and borders and shading, shading select, select yellow and OK and let's go ahead and make a custom heading here, variance 
and let's say plan versus prior year. And we'll go ahead and print preview that. See how it looks now. Not too bad. Why don't we go ahead and add a header? Let's go ahead and do a text box up here. And we'll just go ahead and call that income statement. And looks like we need to enlarge that font quite a bit. So let's go to maybe a 24 and see how that looks and center it. So I could go on and on and uh, show you more stuff, but that basically covers the topic for this video. Thank you.